Hey guys, Doughboy64 here. Sorry about the video quality. I uh, don't normally make YouTube videos. I just want to get this information out there. So what I made here is a UVC light box uh, in order to sterilize and reuse some N95s as per the uh, study on the paper linked below. Now, the most important thing you have to get here, which might be kind of hard, is this here. It's called a UVC light. This one's a 15 watt version. It's used to sterilize medical equipment. I bought it here in Australia on eBay for about $35. Um, the other thing you need is one of these cords, which is the E27 light socket. Uh, you can pretty much buy this at any hardware store uh, or online like I did for about $11. Um, I bought this tub as well at Kmart for like 10 bucks, and this little dish rack stand, which was $4 at Kmart. Uh, these are some of my KN95s that I'll be using to demonstrate. Um, they're the N95 equivalent from China because N95 is pretty much impossible to get right now. So the first thing you need to do is uh, take some of this tin foil and line the inside of your box like this. All right. So I just pretty much stretch it strip by strip and use tons of it and then tape it off at the top and at the sides edges here. Now the important thing is that you also tape around the edges. Okay. So the reason for this is it forms somewhat of a tight air seal because uh, the UVC light actually produces ozone, which helps to sterilize uh, the equipment as well. Uh, this is the lid of the box, which exact same thing. I just use some tape to tape some layers of tin foil onto it. So when I close it, it'll be a good seal. So here's how it works. Uh, you put the dish rack inside the box. Okay. Uh, you take the light. Now, this light is really dangerous. You guys might want to watch some other YouTube videos. Um, it can burn your skin. It can also uh, damage your eyes. So it's best not to look at it or even ever see it being on. So the light goes at the bottom. Uh, then I put the N95s, or sorry, KN95s on here, the mask, like so. Alrighty. Okay, now I'm just going to move out of the way and let the camera have a look so I can show you guys what it looks like when it's on. I'm pretty far away from the box now. And I'm just going to flip the light switch, which is on the outside here. Okay. So that's the UVC light, which according to the study sterilizes um, the equipment pretty well. Now, you can start to smell an ozone smell, which is O3. Uh, which is poisonous or toxic to a lot of microbes as well. Um, so let me turn that off for a second. Alrighty, now the the reason for the taping around the edges here is not only to hold the tin foil, but once you put the uh, lid on, like so, it's somewhat airtight, or at least tight enough that it holds in the ozone. Okay. So from the outside of the box again, you just flip it on and you can kind of tell it's on from these little gaps here. So I usually put this box in another room when I'm doing this and the old zone will build up in there. Uh, I usually leave it on for about two minutes and then I flip the mask and uh, let it go for another two minutes and then leave it sealed in the box just so the ozone can uh, sterilize it a little bit further. Um, aside from that, uh, I think it's also best practice to sort of air the ozone out in an open space afterwards. But according to that paper, you should be able to reuse the uh, N95s or KN95s after doing this for a little while. Uh, you can also throw in anything else. So I work at a hospital, so when I get home, I can throw my cell phone, my keys, um, any of that stuff on, on the tray and just run it for a couple minutes just to help kill anything that's on it. All right, guys, again, sorry for the no editing. Uh, I'll include a couple links uh, as to how UVC light works and the study down below. Um, drop me a like or a comment if you guys have anything else to say. Thanks, guys.